My most favourite memory, well, I used to work in the Pioneer Dry Cleaning um, in Crosby. And this girl called Leslie Ferguson had been trying for months and months to get me to go out with this girl called Susan Entigna. Anyway, I wasn't, well, I'd been knocked back a few times by Gail, so I thought, oh, no. Anyway, it took about six months, finally said, yes, I'll go out with Susan. So we ra arranged a date. And it was the 9th of June, 1966. The film that was on was Judith, which is on Peter Finch and Sophia Loren. The second picture was, um, the B picture that was, that was Invasion with Edward Judd. Now, I was standing outside the cinema, Anyway, Susan got off in Embert Lane, off the L8, a rival bus. She walked across to meet me, and she was wearing a pink patterned suit and a white blouse. And I have never forgotten that, all these years later, because it was the most important day of my life when I met my future wife. Now my favourite film. Well, like I said, I've got loads of favourite films. I'll, I'll mention a few, like, uh, I'll try and keep it short. Third Man, Harry Lyme, Orson Welles. Uh, another one by him, A Touch of Evil, with Charlton Heston and Janet Leigh in it. And like I said, we're going to uh, a couple of others, The Tickfield Thunderbolt, because I'm, in, I'm into steam trains. And I think it's 60 years this year since it was made. And a local lad was in it, John Gregson. He I think he, he lived in Crosby. Um, and then I've also already mentioned the train, Bert Lancaster, because I love it. There's some great scenes with that train crashes, and I'm thinking, oh, they should have saved them, the marvellous engines. Anyway, I'll, I'll finish on the last two, right? The Railway Children. The Railway Children, which starred Jenny Agassiz and um, a few other people that I am. Um, and the thing is, it was about innocence. And, it, you know, in. We know it's fantasy, you know, but it, it was, you know, it, it was such a lovely picture. And then I'll go on to another picture, with the same actress, Je Jenny Agatha, right? Walkabout. It's like a rite of passage from child to adult. She stars alongside an, a little lad who's her brother. Her father commits suicide in the middle of the desert. He's going to kill them. And then they end up in the desert wandering around and they eventually meet this Aborigine boy and they go walk about. And you know, it's a lot, I won't do all the story, but it's a lot of right passage and, and there's a couple of nude seeds in it, right? And th at the end, like, um, the Aborigine boy, he's a walk about because he's approached manhood. And um, he's, you can see the desire in him for Jenny Agatha and that, like. But any nothing happens like any. But there's an end scene in it, and like you say, when you think about the railway children, innocence, and then walk about, there's nudity in it, and that like. And the thing is, oh, I've lost it again. <laughs> no, what happens? <laughs> anyway, at the end, there's a nude scene where they're all swimming in a billabond. The little boy, he must be only about ten. Then you've got Jenny Agatha, he's supposed to be about 16. And then you've got the Aboriginal boy. And at the end of it, there's a poem read. And it's by A. E. Houseman. And I spoke, it could reflect on what you're doing today, about memories and everything, right? So I'll, I'll read it out to you. It's called Into My Heart, An Air That Kills. Into my heart, an air that kills, from yon far country blows. What are those blue remembered hills? What spies, what farms are those? That is the land of lost content. I see it shining plain. A happy highway where I went and cannot come again. That's what cinema is today and the memories of childhood.